हे गाइज वर्न मराठे हियर हाव यू ऑल बेन आय नो इट बीन अ व्हेरी लॉंग टाइम सिन्स आय वॉट एनी न्यू व्हिडिओज फॉर यू गाइज बट टुडे इज अन एक्सायटिंग डे ॲज वी हॅव रिसिव्ह दी अँड्रॉइड ट्वेल्व्ह अपडेट विच इज दी ऑक्सिजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व्ह अपडेट ऑन दी वन प्लस एट प्रो सो दिस इज हाऊ दी होम स्क्रीन ॲक्च्युली लुक सो लेट मी कन्फर्म दी सॉफ्टवेअर व्हर्जन दॅट इज अवेलेबल राईट नाव and uh, as you can see over here we here this is how the software page looks about phone device page looks here we have the model and the processor which is shown as snapdragon 865 and in when you click on android version as you can see it's android version 12 and the february security update is there uh, with this update the very first thing that we can see over here is the ram so we are getting the ram expansion feature which is available in the android 12 we can expand the ram up to 7 gigabytes though this will be using the internal memory as your ram for that particular uh, uh, task which is required and uh, this is one very new feature which is there which is added now in the system now when we go back and this is how the settings uh, now looks it looks little bit cleaner as you can see everybody was expecting that probably we'll be getting the hydrogen os which is there on oppo it it is quite similar i would say but still does not have that exact uh, du- duplicate copy uh, which is there in the hydrogen os as you can see the fonts look really well really good and the colors are also chosen very well over here as you can see and uh, there are various other changes which are there we'll talk about it one by one so this is how the home screen looks as you can see by default the icons are having this squarish look which is actually there in the oxygen uh, which is ox- which is a part of hydrogen os for that matter but we can definitely change it so when you long press on the home screen now this is how this uh, application looks if you want to add the new widgets this is where the widget op- app option is present on the top so we have to click over here in order to get to the widget page and we can select the widgets from here a really good feature i would say initially i was searching where the widgets have gone but this is where it is and then on the bottom over here on the screen here we have various applications you can change the wallpaper you can change the icon you can change the layer so everything has come out uh, from the settings right here so it's very easy to access this is one new feature which is added that is the transition of home screen so how you want the transition to be you can select various uh, modes in the way you can actually swipe the whole page so it looks really cool over here uh, another feature which is there in this particular setting is here when you can go in the more section we have the icons autofill feature uh, if the icon is uh, on a square it's not, it 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 is a smaller icon it will be filled to the size of all the other icons it's a very innovative feature i would say uh, here in the settings here only we have the app animation speed so you can keep the animations either fast slow or uh, medium which whichever you like i personally like it fast so i have kept it on fast uh, another thing which is over here is race to wake feature double tap to wake feature these are certain feature which are already there previously we can also change the home screen layout to 5 by 6 now so it will be adding more icons to the screen which is really cool uh and apart from that there are not many uh, changes which are there in terms of home screen but it is just an aesthetic look change and it is refreshing to have a uh, different kind of icon packs and different kind of animations which are there uh, which is really really nice so another im- interesting thing which has come up is this uh, animation which is over here so when we click we have more options now uh, how do we uh, get the get to the home screen and what are the animations that comes up when you actually scan your fingerprint so there are more and more animations when you scroll from the top over here here you can see that uh, this is how the uh, drop down menu looks it is pretty similar to how it was last time uh, there are few additions in this uh, quick toggles over here which are there in the which are there as a part of android 12 so when you move ahead over here we have the dolby atmos and video enhancer right here apart from that when you click on settings over here these are the additional menus which is uh, for camera access mic access we also have a keyboard setting quick toggle right there uh, we can also toggle between the display modes how you want the display there's a toggle for reverse wireless charging eye comfort and screen cast so these are a few of them are additions as a part of android 12 which is really really cool uh, going in the settings in order to talk about the uh, newer settings which are there so when you go in the personalization option over here this is how the personalization section looks where you can change the icons however you want 
so there are definitely this default icon pack which is actually based on the art plus icon style so when you click on this you basically can change a lot many things of the icons uh, right from the shape so when you click on customize over here you can change the shape of the icons the size of the icons and even you can change if you want the names of the uh, icon to show or not so various kind of options which are there uh, this time around again to change which is really cool this has been the feature of oxygen os in the past and uh, definitely it gives you tons of options to change once again there's another option of quick settings over here so we can have change the shape of the quick settings as well whichever you like again a very cute and a very uh, innovative kind of a thing which is there people get bored uh, with this particular thing uh, looking at the same thing again and again you can also change the color accent of the entire system nothing new but the organization of all of this has changed it looks a little bit uh, hydrogen os like and there is a new theme store this time around so where you can uh, choose from various themes the best thing that i liked about this is the font so you can choose from so many fonts which are there there are premium fonts there are free fonts and you can choose from so many fonts which directly get applied which is really cool and i really like the feature right now also i have applied some another font which is not default so this gives a very fresh outlook to this device uh, android 12 update was really delayed on this device but having said that they have done a great job of getting them so as you can see when you go into font section i have a different font which i have downloaded from more again when you go you can get more and more fonts which is really cool and now these are the additional animations which are there when you touch the home screen so probably this was there in the oneplus 10 pro they have been updated uh, to this device which is another great thing there is some this is something new which is horizontal light so basically when you get a call or notification the edge of the display will will light up in this particular way which is a really cool thing which is a new thing and with this you can also see that this the when you receive a call the screen the call screen looks really clean uh, it is more of a materialistic design rather than anything else it does not look funky now it's much cleaner font it's a much cleaner outlook and it gives the entire uh, display a very very pleasant uh, look altogether so going in the display settings there is another thing which is there which is in dark mode so when you click on dark mode this time around there are dark mode settings where you can choose between enhanced setting medium setting and gentle setting so what happens in these three is if you go in the middle setting it's a light kind of grayish look and when you go in the gentle setting it's a very light gray look personally i prefer the enhanced look which is a very dark look which which is which looks really good uh, but the only problem in this is and this does not apply to the drop down menu i don't know why this should have applied to that as well but unfortunately it is not there you also have an option to adjust wallpapers to dark mode so even the wallpapers would get darker as a result uh, just to show you uh, this video i'll have to keep it in light mode but personally i love to keep the device in dark mode so again few features which are added over here is the video color enhancer mode video motion enhancement where you can actually upscale a 60 uh, fps video to a 90 fps video 120 hertz video uh, as this display suppose that we also have a bright hdr video mode so this is a new toggle which was not present before so this is one really cool feature now we can also adjust the screen to 120 hertz or 60 hertz this is i think new in this uh, new which in this update which is really cool Another thing which we can add over here is if we if we have multiple apps open now we can change in the settings and when you hold the back button you can actually switch between the apps which is really really cool uh, just in order to uh, get between the applications as quick as possible so you can just circle between them you don't have to worry if the app is recently opened or it was opened before you can just keep on circling between the recently opened apps just by this gesture so uh, there are so many new things which have been added uh, in this particular update and i like the way this update has come it has taken some time in order to reach over here but it has definitely come up so again this is the dolby atmos setting which was not present before so many new things have come up obviously a few of them i might miss because uh, i still haven't got an opportunity to explore it completely but this has definitely brought the device up to date uh, considering that the update has come up very late and after this update now we have this uh, essentially it is just a newer element everything was more many of the things were already present but with this update now the style and the way it is represented has changed now uh, we can uh, 
you can choose between various kind of settings which is there which was present in previous mode as well but with android 12 the phone feels much faster the battery life has not changed it is pretty much exactly the same as it was there before uh, there are not much changes in the battery life but yeah with the addition of the features it is really cool so as you as i told you in gestures and motion uh, these are the gestures which are added so by three finger uh, swipe down we can actually take a screenshot if you hold that we can take a partial screenshot which is a really really a uh, really cool thing which is there and uh, also there is something called as oneplus shelf so i have activated this so how you, you how you access it is you swipe down from the right and this is what you get this is kind of a google feed or a, a samsung bixby feeds it is similar to that where you can add a few apps over here for very quick shortcuts uh, there is spotify over here there is notes so it is just a very quick page i'm not a big fan of it but if you want it is there and it comes uh, you can switch it on from this particular section over here one plus self if you turn it right on you can get this from swiping down from the right and these are the widgets that you can actually add in it so you can add, add basically all the widgets in the shelf which are there which you can add in the home screen as well uh, another thing which is there we have a quick launch feature which is present so if you turn this on as the animation is showing right from the home screen while you are actually accessing you can add a few apps or a few shortcuts uh, just show so that you can right away as soon as you are scanning your fingerprint you can go to these shortcuts uh, it's a useful feature for few people who might use it uh, i haven't used it as of now but there are very uh, there are a lot of options in there which you can pick and choose and uh, if it is useful to you definitely this feature is a welcome uh, change and update which is there there's a new thing which is work life balance again which was zen mode before so you can actually set up work mode where there will be less notifications or only important notifications which will be pushed up uh, this is just an addition based on the work from home culture that we are in right now and apart from this uh, i believe everything else was present in the uh, previous update uh, but in general i would say the phone has become snappier uh, the the kind of user interface that is present right now is really cool uh, the customizations that we can do again which is the heart and soul of the oneplus devices and oxygen OS in the past it is still present over here and it is something that will give the users a real joy as this is what users have come to expect from oneplus devices in the past and so far we have not moved completely to hydrogen os uh, basis the update which is there so this is still based on oxygen os 12 and it is a really good update uh, from uh, as far as i can tell you and uh, guys uh, this is it from my end uh, you can definitely tell me what you liked about the uh, update uh, obviously you can also tell me what are the changes that have happened that i have might have missed uh, but this definitely gives a very good and cleaner look to the device it's a fresh outlook to the older device and uh, probably it will help in you know increasing the life of this device a little bit more because this is a fresh outlook so people will be less inclined to change uh, this particular device because of this new update i think so yeah guys this was the video uh, please do comment in uh, the comment section below that what you liked about the update if you like the update or not and also if there are things that i might have missed you can definitely put it in the comment section below so that our viewers can enjoy uh, the features which are there in depth so thank you guys do take care take care of your family and i'll see you in my next video peace